end. Meghan and Harry risk losing all as join Celebs Go Skating show after Netflix plan dashed. Celebs Go Skating, hosted by former Dancing on Ice professional Alex Murphy, is the latest skating show to possibly hit TV screens after an incredible social media launch. The likes of Charlie Brooks and Love Island's Jack Fowler have already appeared on the program which initially launched on social media for Series 1 and 2 following the COVID-19 pandemic. As they cross their fingers and hope for Series 3, show bosses are looking more in the direction of TV. Former Dancing on Ice professional Alex Murphy telling Daily Star Online that they're hoping for an Amazon or Netflix deal, but a spot on primetime TV with ITV or Channel 4 would also be a goal met. After a successful two series, host Alex is hoping to aim high for the third season, and one royal pairing she would love to see on the show is the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. Speaking to a source, she said, We've been so lucky with who we've had, but obviously the dream person is Prince Harry. I would love it. We have had a bunch of people reach out though, so we're crossing our fingers for series 3. Alex added, I would totally ask him everything. I'm American, I feel like he's used to Americans now. I'm just going to try. He's done James Corden shows, so maybe he would do celebs go skating. I would love to get both Harry and Meghan on there, that's the dream, aim high, right? The viewers would also love to see Harry and Meghan on there, particularly given the concept of the show focusing on spilling gossip. Alex said, we bring celebs on the ice and ask them questions about their lives, we ask hard-hitting questions because the minute you put skates on someone they become vulnerable. It's shocking how much people are willing to spill because they're thinking about the skating. They don't remember what they should and shouldn't say, that's the coolest concept. They're not thinking about the interview, they're thinking about not falling down. But a lot of viewers left negative comments. One said, total nonsense. Besides that, the producers wouldn't be able to afford their fee. One replied, why not? They've been skating on thin ice for long enough. Should storm it. Another added, show must be desperate to have these two. The show saw incredible success online last year with soap stars and reality stars making their debut while Alex hosted. She explained how she got the call after she left Dancing on Ice, adding, It was nice to be a part of a show like that. I felt like Holly Willoughby, they treated me like an angel. Although a third series for the show hasn't been confirmed, nor the platform it will appear on, it seems celebs have already registered their interest, but the real question is, could it be Harry and Meghan? This comes after royal commentator Neil Sean claimed their big Netflix plans had been dashed after being left off the invite list for Barack and Michelle Obama's party. He told the source, what they really hope to do is get big voiceover names. Now Michelle Obama was one that Meghan Markle was very keen to sign up but that went through the pan when they didn't get an invite to that spectacular 60th birthday for the former president. I'm not saying Michelle's now on the back burner but let's put it this way, the present hasn't been delivered yet and I kid you not. Now they're casting their eyes around to see who else they could really connect with and one of the ideas would be their friend for now, loosely speaking, the chat show Queen Oprah Winfrey. Meanwhile, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are set to appear in ABC's Time 100 special on the 22nd of September, it has been revealed. The news was announced in a promo clip shared by E! News and the couple were simply listed as Harry and Meghan, instead of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. Meghan, 